Psalm 119,54 Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. We should keep in mind the culture within which the psalm was composed. It is not the age of automobiles and airplanes, traveling that day was long and arduous, there were no motels with swimming pools and televisions or restaurants that tickle our tonsils. After a long day's journey, a traveler would often choose an instrument of his liking and entertain his mind with a ballad, a song, or poem of victorious events, perhaps even of love, or romance. But the theme of our psalmist is all about his love for Jehovah and his songs are about his commitment to the Sovereign Lord's will as an expression of that love. In this psalm, the psalmist expresses his obligation to God as a privilege that he is permitted to take part in. In our day, looking back on the books of the law, many will object saying the law was restrictive, bringing death to the disobedient and certainly not a privilege for someone whose only motivation for compliance was fear. But the boundaries of the law are only restrictions to the lawless and disobedient of mind, never to the righteous. A right-minded people will value their laws and cherish them as they safeguard our liberty. Apart from the laws that are based on moral principles, anarchy would reign, and moral boundaries would be non-existent. The people would have no unalienable rights as those endowed by our Creator and found in the American Declaration of Independence which says, We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In a certain sense, all Christians are on a pilgrimage towards spiritual reality. We read in Philippians 3,18-21, For I have often told you, and now say again with tears, that many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. 19 Their end is destruction, their God is their stomach, their glory is in their shame. They are focused on earthly things, 20 But our citizenship is in heaven, and we eagerly wait for a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ. 21 He will transform the body of our humble condition into the likeness of His glorious body, by the power that enables Him to subject everything to Himself. CSB